you know that weren't a bad turn really because it's only the uh is it the first time second. second time they've been in a pair with one out the front oh yeah second time we've done it the other day haven't we? so that was a nice turn and everybody's happy see that's what you want horses you've got to be safe confident and happy they should be happy doing what they're doing if i let all them reins go they don't run away they keep the same pace like that if i want to stop them on a sixpence all three of them i can stop and they've only got rubber bits they've not got some oh yeah i've not got some so if i wanted to stop them now for instance come over here a bit come over baby come over for say for instance out this driveway someone was coming out yeah and they weren't looking and I wanted to stop them, I could just go to them. Oh. And also they stand square, so you don't want to move it about. Walk on. Now if there, you could probably feel the little jolt then. The reason for that is, <laughs> I've said, you know, told them to walk. Um, and of course, Georgie, out the front, knows every word or all the commands that we use you know all the requests we make to, to do so she's first up in the collar before they've you know registered the <laughs> that's what they've got to do but they're babies yet you know they'll come and they'll be lovely but they're not doing bad second time in a pair with georgie out the front so as soon as i i've shown you that i can keep their heads straight i've shown you that i can push George with a swingle tree up the front um, I can run them off square so I could put for instance like run them like you're missing one out the team you know like that yeah Georgie and then we can reverse that you know come over come over so you can run them two heads and that one out the front there but all straight Georgie but still going straight so for young horses you know learning their job I mean the reason they're doing that is like taking an opposition on your wheeler horses so they don't cut the corner basically yeah so we can send George in that particular instance round to the right to go round the corner hey and we can keep our other ones going, you know, the other way. So they don't lose the cart, don't go across the corner, or if someone's coming out of a junction, you don't put the bumper or something like that. Come on in. Go the other way, Georgie. And over there, Red's right over there. So come straight, baby. That's it. All sorted out. Come over. I lost a finger on me right hand, little finger. Obviously, horse related. <laughs> So I don't have, I've learned to, you know, rely on the next digit <laughs> to do the job. But this hand here, a lot of what I do is on that little finger, you know, a lot of it. And the other one, I've got that under there, you see, and I will do, use that. And, it, you know, the, if you've got the right sort of contact, it's soft enough that they all don't fight it. Because I always believe, like, with a metal bit in their mouth, a lot of horses lay against it, fight it, because it's not pleasant. That's what I believe, don't make say it's right. But it's it's what I believe, it's my right, you know. And if they'll go like this, green horses, I mean these have been here three weeks, these two here. Um, they're not making bad progress, they're out on the public highway, they're perfectly safe and controllable. Um, The other thing you can do when you get horses laid a red like that, well obviously the first thing 
is to get that's why we get the, the vet out to do their teeth if they've got into the habit of doing it it's quite easily quite e easy to change it we should do a video about that one day um, you know or if, or if we've got the problem with these of getting their heads straight and going um, come over baby then obviously we'll we'll make a film about it if it's interesting to people we do our question and answer sessions um, they keep wanting me to do a zoom thing you know like a, a lot of people in this lockdown time that's what they've done a zoom thing so we might do that but, um, possibly it's just having the time you know there's only two of us that do this you know three the other trainer and myself so it's a full day's work getting through all the horses we got in you know like now we're not full we're on a change over time where others are coming and some are going but there's still um i think eight in So I don't want them to move away from this man, I don't want to knock the man over, but at the same time I don't want them to move away. I want them just to accept that, you know, quite happily. And you can see they go, but you got sometimes you get all she's all shy away from that. Well, that's no good, is it? You know, obviously. Because if they shy away from that. Come on. They would um Come on. Good baby. That's our little village shop. Well, it's not our village, it's the next village we're in now. Um, nice little shop there. They do a lovely cream tea in their little general store. That's another avenue of pleasure that's been closed off to me, cream teas for some reason. Go on. Up you go, babies. So I'm just going to go up here and show you that, you know, like when we turn these, I'm going to turn this one in there, look, turn him right back on his sort of right, and then come around there, over to wide, you know, and then I'm going to do this one where we turn tight, which is good for these youngsters. Go there and I'm gonna turn him tight round like that almost at right angles, yeah. And now the other one's come. Go on, Georgie! George! 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 That's it. No. So our youngster's not quite sure what to what to do. Come round, George. And I'm gonna change it and go the other way. Come right round in the road. Come round, George. Go on. Go on. Now, the purpose of that is, that wasn't a brilliant turn or anything like that, but I sent George away to apply pressure to the head of the pole to bring the others round. Why do I do that? It's not good driving. It should float round. Um, why do I do it? Well, if they're ever put in this situation again, they cope with it. So when you make a mistake like that, they cope with it. But if we do one here, for instance, where we want to turn back, come back round, come round, come round. Come on, babe. Oh, 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 Sam. Come on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 
Right, come round, George. Round, George. Come on, George. Come on. So you can see there, that's exaggerating it. But these ponies don't panic. They don't fight against it. They follow the pole. Um, so if we was putting a team together, if we was putting a team together, we would do quite a bit of that. Hello. Hey. So there, what I was showing you was that I've got one canter in out the front and these two youngsters trotting. Now, why do I do that? Well, what they, because they're herd animal, they see herd canter, they automatically they want to canter. You know, we'll go with you, you know what you're doing, so that sort of attitude. Georgie, canter! So Georgie canter and these two are just here. And a slack trace if you look, and Georgie's taking a whole lot of weight. And people are saying to me, Oh, when you're driving the four in hand, or when you're driving the little bit, right? Your horses are only there, your lead horses, to help the team up the hill. Well, that's perfectly true. And that's what you've done for in the first race. Your lead horses never done as much work as the weavers. But, if you're going on a fair long trip, you know, with your four in hand, it's very good, all right, if... If you can give your wheelers a rest and let your leaders take it on. Well, you've just seen that little pony take this vehicle on entirely on its own. It's on the flat, so the vehicle's rolling anyway. It's just a matter of keeping the momentum going. Like pushing a car, when well, you know, cars to get it going, once it's rolling, you can walk along just putting your body, gentle body weight on it. But when you go away, you've got to bend your knees, bend your back, get pushed down, get low down and push. Once it's rolling, it's pretty easy to keep going. So all of these things, the fact that he got that needle's coming right back to him, right close to these, is, you know, a good thing to push it. It helps them to accept the fact that all oh, she's very, very close to them, you know. Now obviously, they've, you know, they've got their own instinct, this all she's going to kick me, you know, that type of thing if they're in the field. So there we are, we're on our way home now. A nice drive out on a Sunday morning. It's a nice day actually, a little bit cold in the air, but the sun's come out. When we went out with the first ones this morning, it was, you know, the mist was just lifting. But now it's uh, just going along sweet. It's a lovely job we have, you know, doing all season. It's been my passion all my life. I've never wanted to do anything else. I've had to in the past, you know, when you've had to do it because you couldn't make it pay, you know what I mean? Come up, baby. Bye, bye. So once we get, as I say, we get their teeth done with these chestnuts and um, then we'll worry about where they're putting their eggs. There we are, we're just crossing the river now. I'm going to make a turn to the right. Come on, up George. Keep over outside the road, we can't get any closer to that fence with a pole, obviously, we're not confident. But we kept on outside the road pretty good, although this vehicle is quite long. Um, we didn't cut the corner too bad, we've got no choice really there. Um, 
have to make that turn because you've got this garden fence here and it's a very narrow little lane so it's not all right yeah 